Dogs podcast, Jordan Brenner, Peter Keating back with another dog bite, or in this case, a hot dog bite, right, Peter? A big bite. It's the worst of the worst, Jordan. That's right. We are talking about the greatest event in all sports. Let's be frank. Yes. The Nathan's 4th of July hot dog eating contest. I will tell you that my wife, a vegetarian, even finds this thrilling. Make sure every year on the 4th of July, we're in front of a TV to watch these people devour hot dogs. And Peter, as if that wasn't fun enough to just enjoy the gluttony and disgustingness you can actually bet on this crap too is that unbelievable you can and it i mean for anyone who's ever been to the brooklyn board i mean it's at surf and Stillwell. it's the boardwalk it's brings back memories of 109 degrees and nothing to do except eat slimy meat it's all right let's fantastic. break this down as only the underdogs podcast can do first of all we want underdogs and this might be the single worst sporting event yes i called it a sporting event for underdogs in the world there are two favorites and they are so overwhelming no one has a chance to beat them, right, Peter? Joey Chestnut on the men's side and Mickey Sudo on the women's side. Joey Chestnut has lost once in 16 attempts at competing in this event. The guy who beat him, the legendary Matt Stoney, beat him in 2015, then stopped competing in 2019. There's literally no one on the scene who's even close. I, I want to start this by emphasizing the Will Chamberlain-like, Michael Jordan-like, Babe Ruth, level dominance of Joey Chestnut. This guy competed injured. He played, he took the field injured. He had a foot injury that was killing him and actually affected his stamina last year. Tailed off at the end of the competition. He fought off a protester. Protester ran up in the middle of the event. Uh, Now, uh, we can talk about the merits of the protest if you want, but they didn't get to last year because Joey Chestnut in the middle of the event put the guy in a chokehold, tossed him away and resumed eating his hot dogs and he still beat everybody else in the field by a margin of more than 12 hot dogs. Now, you might say, what do you mean, more than? Jordan, the analytics here <laughs> can be a little shaky because once somebody wins, scoring second and third place gets very sloppy. We, we, <laughs> don't, we don't have great data for the also-rans. We just know that they were destroyed once again by the great Joey Chestnut. Did, did you run some uh, regression analysis or more like regurgitation analysis? <laughs> regurgitation analysis. Well, we should point out that the women's favorite, Mickey Sudo, is an even bigger favorite. She's plus 5,000 to win. No, no, minus, side. minus 5,000. Minus, my, oh God, yeah. And don't Joey take, Chestnut. Take her min- plus 5,000 if you can, but that's yeah. my mistake. You'll never find it. She's minus 5,000 and Joey is minus 4,000. Right, so right. Find you can the- bet right now on DraftKings, but there are other fun bets up now or coming, including you can bet the winner without Joey Chestnut or without Mickey Sudo. And that's where we like to get into some underdogs People that we think have a chance, maybe not to dethrone Joey, but at least to win without him. Peter, what legendary eaters come to mind for this gargantuan challenge? World number two, Jeffrey Esper. Jordan, plus 1,200 to win. A terrible bet there, but a great bet to finish second. This is a multidisciplinary consumer of foods, Jordan. Start naming some of his records. Bratz, which is related to hot dogs. He wants eight. 83 slices of pizza in 10 minutes. 39 Fortune Bay Indian tacos. I don't even know what that is. In eight it's a minutes. Taco. Uh, egg and rolls. of course, Peter. Egg rolls. 37 and a half sloppers. <laughs> sloppers. What's a slopper? In eight minutes at I, the Colorado I'm, State Fair. I'm asking the listeners, anyone out there, you can, you can send us a slopper if you want. Send us a photo, a definition. I don't know what a slopper is, but he ate 37 and a half of them. And by the way, who's counting the half slopper? I mean, sloppers well, doesn't sound like you can go to more than Can I tell one. you what it? I mean, if you want to ruin can the I tell surprise, you what a is? Is, is, it, is it divided down to a decimal point? 37.5? Does that make can sense? I, can, I t- can I tell you what a slopper is? Go ahead. Ruin right, it for all I, of us. Yeah. What is it? I, I, as I read from the ColoradoStateFair.com, and perhaps after we visit the Iowa State Fair, which we're still planning to do, our next stop could be the Colorado State Fair. A I slopper, feel like this, the, Yeah, I feel like this show is well-suited to state fairs. Yeah, I uh, absolutely. A slopper quote are a local delicacy featuring an open faced cheeseburger smothered in pork green chili. <laughs> if you're ordering this in Pueblo, be sure to get fries on top. This is Southern Colorado's can't miss dish. So 37 and a half of those. 37 and a half. You think he gets to enjoy the taste of any of them? I think he orders the burgers well done or medium rare. Or, you know, is there any culinary 
angle to this at all? I think not, not with 37 and a half. I, I, I want to bring up two points about Esper. Oh, one goes one goes to just how much people are investing in this event. Uh, this event, these events all over the country now have corporate sponsors. I don't know if you're aware of Spamarama. Mm -hmm. Spam actually sponsors Spamarama. It's how much spam you can eat out of the can. Esper ate 9.75 pounds of spam in 2021. I don't even know if the event was timed. Like, who cares if it took you a lifetime to eat 9.75 pounds of spam, right? I I've gone a lifetime without ever once tasting spam. Have you ever eaten spam? No. My dad uh, was in the army when he was younger, and he compared spam unfavorably to the worst of the food he ate in military service. And um, so we stayed away from the spam. Anything that but. Then, of course, there is the love connection angle to all this. Wait, 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 I want to, I just want to say, we're we're coming to you with help from our good friends, both sponsorship and on the betting lines from DraftKings. But, but Jordan, we're missing one key ingredient, so to speak, to the broadcast from DraftKings. DraftKings makes something called, the, or at least sponsors the creation of something called, the DraftKings Big Game Smackdown Menu. Okay, this is a pet. This is a pepperoni pizza, 32 ounces of chili, 25 pigs in a blanket, 100 cheese balls, 32 ounces of dip. I'm not talking runny onion dip. I'm talking eight layer dip, 25 boneless wings, a 12 inch sub and two dozen jalapeno poppers. Esper ate an entire big game Smackdown menu in 2021 in five minutes and 43 seconds. Here's what I'm thinking for our show March Madness is our signature event, right? Sure. This is what we based off. Giant Killers, Bracket Breakers. For next year's March Madness show. The selection, how about for Selection Sunday? For selection Sunday, I would like DraftKings to provide us with that okay. monstrosity. We're putting everybody on notice. We need a yep. big game SmackDown menu. I, I don't think that's the, the competitive eating record we're going to try to break. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, I, don't yeah. want, I don't want to eat a SmackDown menu in five minutes. I take a week to eat that. It's fine with me. All right, can we talk about the love connection and a yes. bet you can make there too? Okay, so we talked about Mickey Sudo, the, the the reigning women's champion, and her husband is is Nick Weary, uh, number four overall ranked competitive eater. Second, if you're going to bet someone to uh, beat Esper outside of Chestnut, he might be your guy. But uh, there's a little more fun you can have between the two of them. Well, Jordan, Nick Weary ate 50 hard-boiled eggs in three minutes in April 2021, after that accomplishment, he got down on one knee, <laughs> he got down on one knee and proposed to Mickey Sudo. She said, yes, they're a power couple. She took a year off to have a baby, actually, before coming back to dominate the competition last summer. So they are the power. And this this has got us thinking, right? Because they are in different events. There's a men's event, there's a women's event. But their over-unders aren't too far apart. In the men's contest, you can bet him to go more or less than... 46 and a half hot dogs. She's at 44 and a half. And her personal record, I think, is 48, which is the world record. She got back up to 40 last year, taking a year off. You go find the bet to, for him to lose to her, for her to, to beat his record. Head to head, I think I'd take Mickey Sudo. Right. I think I saw one where he was minus 190 to beat her. I'm with you. I'll take her with the underdog odds. Plus, I mean, let's be real. If we're just throwing down a couple bucks, we, what's more fun? Betting on on Mickey Sudo or her husband? Obviously, Mickey Sudo. Take her as an underdog. Enjoy I it. think I don't want to be sexist in any way, but I think if that baby grows up, it will be cooler for that baby to learn that his mom broke that record than even his dad. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like a huge accomplishment. That baby could be the first global leader of, of our planet. I think <laughs> the powers that that child will that have. That child might eat the planet first, Jordan. <laughs> I do want to bring up a record that Weary, Weary did beat Joey Chestnut in February and set a world record. And I believe it's the world record you and I think we could break. Eat 109 pistachios in eight minutes. That doesn't seem like eating the big game SmackDown menu in five minutes. I think now we might have to collaborate I'm willing to eat if you're willing to shell. Okay, would that would that count? If you shell the pistachios and I eat them, would we break the record? I I think so. We could use some help on the shelling part of it, though. Any any ideas for? I don't know. We need somebody who's very cool under pressure, who can Are you deal with what us. I'm thinking can deal with us fumbling around. There's only know, one choice. Is up with our stupid ideas. That's right. Our producer Sarah McCrory. You are yeah. 
shelling the pistachios, we will we will devour them. And we'll set the world record. Yes. So let's so, let's so let's sum up. We can't we can't while it's it's a real tough bet to think that Joey Chestnut's gonna break his world record because he was injured last year and he's done this 16 years in a row. There's no one else on the horizon, right? To beat either him or Sudo. But there are bets available for who might finish second. And and we like Esper. And we even would take a look at Weary um, if you want a longer shot at that. And we like Mickey Sudo head to head against her husband. Now, Peter, I can't end the segment without talking about our chances as competitive eaters. If there was one competitive eating event that you think you could have a chance to take down, what would it be and why? Uh, beyond the pistachios. So yes, I'd have beyond to the pistachios. I'd have to shell the pistachios and eat them. Oh, geez, Jordan. You know, I, I noticed that one of Esper's uh, records is eating 32.25. Again, I'm wondering who calculates these things to two decimal points. Eat 32.25 egg rolls in a competition in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, I, I have been known to, um, you know, eat a house full of Chinese food on my good nights. Ooh. So I'll 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 say bring on the egg rolls, Jordan. How about yourself? Well, I think I may have already beaten the uh, world bagel record on Yom Kippur <laughs> you know, you and you end the fast and I'm just I, you can't stop me. But uh, outside of that holy day, I, you know, I'm thinking if there were like a chips and guac, like I can just you put a a, a bowl of guacamole in front of me and I might as well be swimming I, in it. I haven't seen the record for that. But if these guys are eating 15 and a half pounds of banana pudding, I'm afraid the guac record might be. You know, it might be like an oil drum full of guacamole that you'd have to consume to break that record. But but Jordan, Godspeed. Good luck. Let me know. I'll help in any way. Well, it's a dog eat dog world, as we've discussed. <laughs> but I, I, I sadly, I think the hot dogs are going to devour the underdogs in this contest. But uh, I, we I, will look, be watching with you. I'd relish the chance just to compete. Oh, man. I hope we can catch up to everything that's going on later.